Uh, good morning, grade nine. This is Mr. Madutung. I trust you're well today. It's a bit chilly. Hope you keep a comfort at home. Let's get in a blanket and get ready. Let's come to study. We're going to be looking at uh, circuits, electric circuits. Now we've said that uh, electric current it's a flow of charge. Remember that it's different from electrostatics. Electrostatics, then we were talking about charges that are stationary. Now today we're going to be constructing our circuit. I'm going to be using a program here called FET. You can download it at FET.com. The free simulations which you can use to enable your learning. Now we're going to be doing our exercise number one, which says build a circuit that is I've got a battery that is made up of two cells connected in series, and that is connected to an ammeter in series, and also connected to two resistors. Now this is what we are going to do, as you can see there. We are going to take my two batteries. Connect it over there. Put my wires. Notice that the wires they've got the minuses inside. Those minuses they are the electrons. The battery just give a push to push these electrons to move around. Now I'm gonna put my switch over there. I'm gonna put my wire after that. Then I take my resistor number one and number two. Yes, that is a light bulb. Remember we said that uh, a light bulb can also work as a resistor. And then after we connect our current, we're going to be connecting our ammeter. Remember our ammeter, it shows the current that is flowing in the circuit. Let's measure our voltage. It's 18 over there. Now let's put on our switch. Remember our switch is a component that allows current to flow or to stop. Let us put it on. There we go. Now immediately we close our switch, we can see that the electrons they are flowing through the components into the ammeter around. So the battery it just gives a push. When we check the voltage there, we can see that our battery has got a voltage of 18 volts. Now let us check the voltage across that uh, resistor over there. Let's have a look at it. Just a second. All right. We can see that our voltage there is 9 volts. Let us test the other one. The voltage there we can see. Oh, I need to reverse my polarity. Negative must be on the negative side, and positive must be on the side that goes from the positive terminal over there. So the negative must be over this side. That's why it was giving us a negative. So what we see is that that voltage that we had in the battery. That voltage that we had in the battery. It's now been divided into two parts. So we can conclude that uh, whenever you connect the resistors in series, they are going to divide the voltage. So in other words, the voltage, the electrons that passes through the first resistor, it will use 18 volts to do the job over there, to do the lighting as well as giving you some heat. So the remaining 18 volts will have to be going over there to the second resistor. 